So what we have here is probably at an inopportune time, but we are making an internal bridge cable training video. This is how I want cable before we pull, pull it to be labeled. So what you're going to do is you're going to label the footage is always going to be on one side and then whatever the pull number, like a WAP or a data or a voice. So typically we put Victor or D for data. Now what we're doing here with the labelers are, is putting up those flags. We're approximately doing them every, you take the cable from the box, just follow Big Pete, look at that, about two feet. Now we're gonna put a flag on it and then we're also going to mark it with a sharpie. So we're getting the exact flags ready. As we can see from right there. Go ahead, Pete, you can pull. I'm not in your way. Anybody have a voice? Sure. Right here. Oh, yeah. Oh. He has a voice. So what we're also doing is we're taking a different piece of color of tape. Anything that is voice is going to be have a different color of tape. For example, the datas are just going to be a blue jacket or a white jacket with a white flag. Well, we'll actually change it. But again, hold one up, Vince. That's got done. Um, or Pete's got one and then I'll leave you guys big so two feet out a flag marker and if it's a voice we'll mark it with a different color tape because a lot of times we're gonna have two bundles as we can see in here there's two bundles one's voice one's data and in the separation phase you don't want to be playing games So in the separation phase, you can just automatically say, oh, okay, there's a bunch of yellows. And then we can just quickly separate yeah. them, cut them back, and then punch them down into the patch panel. And that's what I need to see from bridge cable techniques. Peter, should I leave you big, or should I keep filming you? Yes? Goodbye.